All right, so we're going to talk about um, different ways you can express concentration. And concentration is a measurement of how much solute is dissolved in a specific amount of solvent or solution. So like, let's, for example, say you're talking about uh, getting juice from concentrate. Uh, concentrate means it's very highly concentrated, has a little bit of, so sorry, a lot of solute compared to the little bit of solvent. But if you want to make it less concentrated, you're going to make it more dilute, the opposite of concentrated. You're going to add more solvent, making it um, the measurement, so basically a ratio of solute to solvent. Um, so there are different ways you can actually uh, measure that, um, several different ways, five the ways that we're going to talk about today, uh, one being percent by mass, and then we're talking about like solid solutions like metal alloys and things like that. Uh, you're doing percent by mass, and that's mass of the solute over the mass of the solution. Obviously, percentage means multiply by 100. Um, you can also do percent by volume, and these are things when you're talking about liquids. Um, and you might even see symbols like this, uh, excuse me, you might even see symbols like on like a on like a product, this means percent by mass, this means percent by volume. You might see like 70 VV, that means percent by volume. Um, that's volume to solute over volume to solution. Molarity is very, very common. You're going to see this a lot in chemistry class, uh, talking about moles of solute versus liters of solution. Another way to like abbreviate that or shorten that is um, you might see a big M. Um, when he says big M, you know it's moles, moles over liters. Um, another one is molality. Uh, it's, I know these are very easily confused, but molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. Um, very, very different. They're just used in different ways. Um, this is little m. Don't mix it up with meters, but it is little m. Um, lastly, you're going to talk about its mole ratio. Uh, mole ratio is, is an easy way to talk about the, um, the ratio of moles of solute versus uh, moles of solute plus solvent. Um, it's an easy way to, to go from, you know, to kind of like go from any one of these. It's a good, it's a good like converter. Um, <clears throat> so these are the, the five different ways you're probably going to see and the way you're going to actually use these a lot of times is through um, when you're talking about dilutions. So let's go to dilute, how to dilute a solution and what that means. So let's say we have a highly concentrated solution. Let's say this is acid and 12 molar acid is actually extremely concentrated. If you've got your hands on this or like any skin on this, it would burn you to no end. So let's say I have this as my stock solution, meaning that I'm a chemistry teacher and in the back when I'm before I do lab demos, this is what I'm going to use. So I don't want to use that with you guys. I don't want to use that with my students because it could hurt them. So I'm going to dilute it, meaning I'm going to add water. Okay, it means I'm adding liquid, but I'm changing the concentration. I am keeping the same number of moles. My volume is getting bigger, so my concentration is getting smaller. So um, the moles of this, I didn't change the amount of substance I had. I just changed the water. So the number of moles of whatever it is my solute is, is exactly the same. So another way to dilute it, um, if I rearrange my molarity solution, uh, my molarity uh, equation, I find that um, the MV, because moles are the same, MV of the first one, molarity times volume of the first solution, times equals the molarity times the volume of the second solution, because the moles are the same. Let's do, let's do a problem based on that. Um, let's say I have, uh, what is the volume of a two molar solution of uh, calcium, carb calcium chloride would you use to make a 0.5 liter solution of 0.3 molar calcium chloride? Okay, so basically I want to make this, I want to make a 0.3 molar solution, I want to make 0.5 liters of it. Um, I, in my stock room, I only I have two molar solution. What am I going to do? Well, I take that two molar solution. I'm going to um, multiply, figure out what the volume is. Uh, multiply by 0.3 molar. That's my second um, molarity times my volume. And I do the math, and I end up with oops, sorry, I end up with point, um, 0 0.075 liters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my take 0 0.075 liters or 75 milliliters of my 0.2 solution and add um, 25 milliliters of water to make my 0.3 molar solution of that um, because I know the, the number of moles of calcium chloride is the same in both scenarios. So uh, concentration, the way that you can use it is it, it's numerous, um, but one of the ways is that we can use it is in diluting solutions.